Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will work around element selector in jQuery. So the jQuery element selector selects elements based on the element name. Let's say we need to select all the h1 elements on a page. So we can do that. With that, we can also select any other element. Let's say p elements on a page. We can select all the p elements using the element selector. Okay, so let's see an example. So herein we have a demo to the HTML file wherein we will learn how to work with the element selector. Open it. I am opening it with Notepad++. You can open with Notepad also. So here is our code uh, for jQuery for jQuery element selector. In the HTML document itself, we have added the jQuery code. We have used CDN for jQuery. There was no need to install jQuery, set up jQuery on the local system because we used CDN. So we'll be adding our jQuery code here. But before that, you can see we have an H1 heading, P tags, three P tags, and a button. So what we'll do using the element selector, we will hide all these three P tags on the click of this button. Okay, let's see. At first, we will write the document dot ready. So here it is. We added it document dot ready. So now we'll be using the selector element selector to hide that particular element on the click of a button. So we are working on the click of a button. I'll be mentioning the following. Okay, that means uh, that means on the click of this button. Okay, dot click function we have used the following operation will be performed. Okay, now we are using the p selector. I told you we are working on element selector. So here is the p selector. Okay, dot. I told you I'll be hiding all the p elements on the click of a button. So this is our button. We entered the code inside it. Dot hide. That's it. So now after now on clicking the button, the p elements, all the p elements, that is only these will hide. Let's see. File save. Okay. Now I'll run it. To run uh, an HTML document, I hope you know you need to just double click on the file. So we double clicked on the file. The following is the path. It was under D drive Amit script folder, and the file name was demo two dot html, and we also added a title. So here and you can see we added h one heading and three p tags. The following is visible. So using the element selector, we have selected elements based on the element name. Okay, that means our element name was p tag. We have selected all the p tags, and using the action on the click of a button, that is here. All these will hide. You can see all the p elements hide. I'll refresh it again. I'll try again, and you can see it. It is now hidden. Only H1 heading is visible. Why? Because this is an element selector in jQuery. All the p elements will hide. Rest everything will remain the same. In this way, guys, you can work around jQuery selectors. That is here in uh, element selector. So, guys, in this video, we saw how we can work around element selector in jQuery. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel. Number things.